Okay, um, can you identify yourself and uh, what you do for um, EF? I'm a tour director working for EF education groups and uh, this is uh, my 15 years working as a guide traveling around for China. Um, can you, since you've led so many tours, can you, is there a difference between other people and teachers who take tours for travel? Um, it is a very big difference because uh, for most of the other tour group, um, people seem, some people seem to not really interested in learning more about China. And uh, what I have to do is to arrange the better hotels and uh, go to the restaurant and uh, maybe go back to the hotel early in the afternoon so people can line, line, line down and rest. But uh, for EF, no matter students and te all teachers, it seems that the people all want to know more. Try to dig into deeper more uh, in the Chinese society. To, you know, in this way, they probably can learn more about the world we have, especially those changes happening in China in the past uh, 20, 30 years, which is amazing me all the time. So I want them to learn more. So this is good for me. Okay, could you um, elaborate a little bit more about what you think teachers in particular get or take away from your tours on China? Um, the one part of the reason I really enjoy being a guide, taking people traveling around the whole country, is that uh, I feel it's, it is one of my responsibility to let people know what is the real picture of China. Um, I really hope that uh, all my group could uh, bring what they experienced, what they heard, and uh, what they seen with their own eyes. No matter good, sad, or no matter it is a negative part of the country, I want the people to know a whole new picture of China. That's why I feel really happy most of the time when I finish my tour. Uh, you know, the, no matter students or teachers would tell me that, uh, well, I had a brand new picture of China, which is very different from the one in my mind before the trip. That makes me just feel so happy. And um, I believe this is one reason for China, no matter the other countries, for example, like China and the United States, and to get to know more about the people, get to know more about the society. Because uh, there's no way now to separate these two countries. Because we were totally bound like one teacher told me that these two countries really get married already. It's just to try to look for the bright future in the to get it better.